All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So using yesterday's video with the coils of wire right here, we started out the day, me and TJ, unrolling the fire alarm wire, and then from there went ahead and cut the last two a little bit shorter. The roll on the right side cut those two a little bit shorter, relabeled them, and then from there we went ahead and I stripped out the panel, and he went out into the field and... Put some resistors on the ends of the wire or the end of the lines um, where there's just one wire so he put the resistors on stripped out my side um, and then went ahead and did fire alarm testing to make sure we didn't have any shorts ground faults and make made sure that we had resistance um, to see those resistors that he put on into the field everything turned out perfectly did not have any problems so that's really good news None of the wire is damaged, so we won't have to replace any of it. Um, and the other, there was two that we couldn't put resistors on because it's in the containment where someone was doing the flooring. So we'll have to wait on those last two. And then the rest of the day, we just worked on putting one inch pipe into the ceiling down the left side of this hallway. Um, so we just worked along the wall pretty much uh, with the containment cart, as you'll see here in a second. But we worked on getting one inch pipe um, along the wall, through the wall, above the double doors, and then we pretty much just have to drill the hole right here at the end of this wall tomorrow, and then that's pretty much it. So basically got right about where we needed to. Here's the containment cart, pretty much goes up to the ceiling, contains all the dust, all that stuff. Um, so that's what we were doing today, working on piping in the ceiling, and that went pretty well, and that's pretty much all we did today. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.